Can I talk about the first day of fall practice here? I know y'all been doing some summer workouts, conditioning, everything. You know, how did it feel though to get back on the field today? Oh, fantastic. It's awesome to uh, see all these guys been working hard all summer long, see them actually out here in helmets and gear and, and just uh, running around and looking like a football team. So uh, it's always a, a fun day that first day, and everybody's flying around, excited to be here. It was nice and hot. Air was thick, so uh, about what you expect out here in the Piney Woods. And what do you tell those guys, because some of these guys aren't from East Texas, uh, what do you tell those guys when they get out here to just, not, not as a joking matter with it, but seriously to make sure they're conditioned so you don't have guys dropping out early in the camp? Right, you know, there's a difference between being in shape and, and practice shape, football shape, and it takes some guys, it takes everybody, coaches included. I mean, I got a full-fledged belly sweat going, but it takes a while to get uh, in, in that kind of playing shape, and, and the main thing is just taking care of your body, your rest, you know, recovery, what you're eating, what you're putting in your body, and hydrating 24-7. Okay, and then, of course, uh, just looking ahead, you get this whole month to get ready for Baylor. Where's, you know, what's the main thing you're trying to make sure these guys have down going into McLean Stadium? Uh, we're not even really thinking about McLean Stadium right now. We're just worried about, you know, day number two and the install and, and not making the same mistakes that we made today. And, you know, it's just one day at a time. It's a big mountain to climb uh, in terms of this 2019 season, but we're not focused on the top. We're focused on the next step in front of us. Okay. Uh, you know, I know we thought Jake going into the season would be quarterback and then the surgery set him back. And it looks like Trey's out there doing a pretty good job out there. Uh, just kind of talk about that quarterback battle you have. Because right now he's taking mainly a lot of those reps, but it's kind of an open race, I would assume. You bet. You know, I, I told the guys first meeting, everything's open. You know, we're going to play the best players. I don't care, you know, freshman to senior, scholarship to walk on, best player's going to play. So uh, there, there'll be a great battle there. we got uh, several capable bodies there at the quarterback position, and, and I think we'll be in good hands whoever's out there uh, that first game. Coach, what was one good thing you can take away from today and one bad thing? Oh, shoot. The good thing, uh, I guess, was getting out here on the field. Bad thing was we had to end it after two hours. So uh, <laughs> it was just a lot of fun to be out here. You know, a lot of new guys and, and just, you know, this is the 2019 team. So we, we talked about that in the staff meeting. We're, we're taking the field tomorrow with, you know, all we've got and, and we got to find a way to win some ball games together. And, and uh, so it's, it's fun taking that first step. After day one, what are some of the things y'all can improve on, you know, going on day two and day three leading up to the open, open night? You know, some of it's just simple discipline, uh, focus stuff, uh, you know, just getting back in practice habits, staying back, high and tight, running, finishing, and uh, those kind of things we've got to improve on from day one to day two where we can, you know, have more attention to detail in the technique and scheme and, and actual coaching. Do you have any injury concerns at the front day? I don't think so. I think we made it through healthy. You know, like I say, I'm a little dehydrated, but I'll, I'll try to pull through. I got, I got one final question for you. Um, just looking out there, some of these guys in high school, they get used to playing that one position that they play. But just looking out here today, for instance, you can't miss Carl. He was out there, you know, blocking on field goals. Is that something with this team, with how young they are, that y'all are going to have to do, where guys are going to have to adapt and probably play something they're not used to? You bet. I think that's just a little bit of a change in, in the culture and what we're doing, you know, Guys, we try to run it kind of like an NFL program in terms of getting our best players on the field, special teams. And so there's some guys that are that are doing some things special teams-wise they've never done before. And then, you know, defensively, we're just working to get the best of loving on the field. So we'll we'll move some guys around and, and find the best mix to put out there uh, week one and, and roll with that. All right, Coach, thanks. We'll catch up with you uh, Thank tomorrow. You. I appreciate it. Excellent.